coming in, the illegals, 100,000 deep every day, crazy numbers like that. Their kids are going to be growing up in America, and they're going to see people like myself and others. So the outside influences are going to change, just like my parents were 100% liberal. But am I? I grew up here in America. I was able to see things differently in my time than they were. So that might be something that look forward to. If you are speaking to the culture of America, you could change hearts and change minds that way. So look forward to that being the case coming up in 2020 and afterwards as well. But let me get to my next call. All right, caller, you're on the line. Who am I speaking to? Oh, no, ABL. The question isn't who you're speaking to. The question is, are you ready to join the info war? Um, uh, hey, I'm ready as I'll ever be. So what's, what, what's, what should I do here? What, what's my next step? So I've been noticing, you know, I didn't want to weird out your program, but I did see earlier that a lot of people like John Cusack and uh, Tariq Nasheed were in your chat. So I figured I'm normal enough. Uh, <laughs> You know, the ones that you kicked out, trolls. That, that's right, stuff. yes. So, uh, look, it's the hardest time in the, in my entire life with all these shy comms and all these people coming after me, trying to take me down in court, saying that I said things that didn't happen. I didn't say things that didn't happen. That never happened. I never say things that never happened. I always just talk about things that happened and what I think about how they happened. So are we on the same page? Um, I, I'm not really sure, but hey, we'll, we'll, we'll try to be here for that. Anyways, I've been watching your show from afar for a while. I don't know if you've noticed, but I think we're kindred spirits. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and that, I, that's, that's, that's a good thing to know. I think you're, you have the stuff to be part of the InfoWar family. So I'm going to let you in on an exclusive perspective on what really happened with the Gulf of Oman incident. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. All right, let me just share this screen. All right, it all started out at 1,200 hours when the clock boy started to navigate his way through the Arabian Sea here. You can see that? Yes. And then about uh, 15 minutes later, Eddie Bravo <laughs> saw that his maneuver, and he, he knew he was up to no good, and he got into a chokehold, and he was, he was blocked, basically. See that? Oh, okay. So, so the clock boy was in the in the uh, in the Arabian Sea just swimming. I don't know. Maybe there was a pool float or something. You know, these these people are resilient. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it, it is kind of that geographic area where we're used to, right? So, <laughs> so anyway, so Eddie Eddie gets him in the chokehold. So incident inverted, right? Not so fast. Oh. Because now the shot comes come, <laughs> and they're they're ready to. They're distracting Eddie, and he has to wait out there and, and try to block him. So he's all busy with that. And bang, all these people gang up on him. You got Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, and then you got the Iranian fleet and the inter interdimensional pedophiles along with them. And the U.S. fleet comes, and uh, you already have the Gulf of, you know, you see the tanker already steaming out there to the waters. And then finally... Once the U.S. fleet was there, bang, you got Michelle Obama's protruding pelvis. Oh, wow, right there. okay. <laughs> and and it's, it just got all out of hand. And they turned the friggin' frogs gay. <laughs> they turned him gay. Oh, wow. Can, can you see this? What? Hey, hey, you know what? The, the way you presented it to me, it, it has to be real. I'm 100% so that's what happened. I, hey, I can't say anything else as it relates to that, because you, you convinced me, you know, that's how the frogs got gay. I'm, I'm, I'm sold. You see, a Anthony, I wish it wasn't so easy, but, but at least, you know, at least I have somebody here who understands the demons with these international pedophiles going around, causing all these fights at Chuck E. Cheese's and everything. It's, it's not like those things could be hap happening at random, right? That, that's right, man. You're right. You, you got it. Right, you're not just humoring me to get along to another caller, right? <laughs> no, I would never do that. Right. I always knew I could count on you, ABL. Welcome to the Info War. All right. Thank you for the call. I appreciate it. Have a good night. All right. So that was Alex Jones. Shout out to him. And that, that was that was a real call. That was not a, a troll pretending to be Alex Jones with a made-up um, 
PowerPoint presentation. That was really him. So shout out to him for the call. And <laughs> let's get to some more calls. 